firefighters. They are known for battling fire. But back at the station in Norfolk, they're battling bugs. Evidence of bed bugs has been found in five stations this year, most in the last couple of months. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara spoke to the department about how it's dealing with the growing problem. Ann? They're spending thousands of dollars doing things like heat treatments and replacing gear when necessary. Today, we even saw some of them putting furniture out in the curb. It has inconvenienced our members. An inconvenience made itself known at Station 6 on Collie Avenue. Bed bugs prompted firefighters to leave furniture on the side of the road, some for treatment, some for trash. As far as with your uh, clothing and gear, anything that was in the area of that, we have bagged that up. Uh, that's something that, you know, we can evaluate. We can probably, you know, maybe wash that and uh, place in the dryer. Station 6 is one of five Norfolk fire stations where inspectors found evidence of bed bugs. We did have two stations that we lo actively located some bed bugs in. Um, we did, went back and did some reinspections, and we did find um, what I would call some remnants of them being in uh, uh, three more stations, so it was a total of five. The fire department is working with a pest control vendor to treat the current problem and prevent it from happening again. But bed bugs don't go away easily, mostly because it's hard to pinpoint the source. We respond to over 40 some thousand calls a year. And if you look around, there's a lot of buildings and uh, places that we go into. These critters, I mean, if you know anything about them, they're hitchhikers. So. I can't say, you know, one place, if it came from one station, if it came from one building. Station 1 on Monticello Avenue and Station 13 in West Ocean View got the worst of it. Both had to replace some bedding before the heat treatment. Fire officials say that's been the norm these last few weeks, battling bugs whenever they aren't battling flames. It's a problem that we definitely don't want, but it's one, you know, that's probably nationwide. Now, many of you have been asking, what does this mean for us? What if there's a fire at your home? Will a firefighter bring the bed bugs into your home? We asked that question of fire officials today. You're going to hear their answer all new at 6 o'clock. Live in Norfolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.